welcome to Sports Watch. I'm Carly Thomas. Tonight's top story will take us to Barclays Premier League, where league leaders Manchester City took on Bournemouth. Here with us now from Ithiad Stadium is in Manchester, England, is Godfrey Lucas. Godfrey, how did Manchester City fare in today's game? Well, Carly, it's all smiles here today at the Etihad as City went on to defeat Bournemouth by the score of 5-1. to one. There were a lot of questions going into this game, primarily due to the fact that City's two star players, of the, uh, who are David Silva and Sergio Aguero, were out with injuries. A lot of people wondered if they could put the goals in the back of the net, and they did. Let's uh, see some highlights on the pitch here. City started off early in the seventh minute with a cross in from Fernandinho right here, which was headed on by Pablo Zabaleta. And Wilfred Boney made a last-ditch effort to get a piece of the ball, and Raheem Sterling was able to tap it in. This was huge for City due to the fact that they the last two games they started out very, very slow, and one game they lost, one game they were able to pick it up in the second half. The next goal came four minutes after as a mishandled cross into the box was put away by Wilfred Boney. Boney is an interesting guy. Last city, uh, last year, City got him on a uh, transfer from Swansea, and he didn't really turn out too well, but it's good to see that he's on the board now with the goal, and maybe that'll kickstart his campaign this season. Uh, the final goal here, which really turned the momentum of this game, came from a beautiful ball played in from Kevin De Bruyne, and Raheem Sterling was able to juke two defenders and slot it away into the bottom corner. The crowd really enjoyed it because uh, Sterling has been known for being a shaky finisher at some points inside the box, but this one he had no mistake putting away Carly, and it was a really great game for City as they were able to take away all three points. So Godfrey, how do you think the team will benefit from this result? The team really needed this win. It was very, it was very important for them because it showed the squad that they were able to do, do it without their two star players and that they were able to have enough service to, be, so enough service to score goals and be active on the ball. Guys like Kevin De Bruyne, Yaya Torre, uh, Raheem Sterling, and Wilfred Boney, who we saw in the highlights, were able to really put goals into the back of the net and help help the squad. Uh, next week, they'll be looking to make it three straight as they face off with Manchester United in the 170th edition of the Manchester Derby, and I think that they can pull through. Thanks, Godfrey. Coming up, we will be discussing op the opening night in the, M in the NBA. Stay tuned. Good evening and welcome to Sports Watch. I'm Carly Thomas. Tonight's top story will take us to Barclays Premier League where league leaders Manchester City took on Bournemouth. Here with us now from Ithiad Stadium in Manchester, England is Godfrey Lucas. Godfrey, how did Manchester City fare in today's game? Well, Carly, it is all smiles here this afternoon at the Etihad Stadium as City hammered Bournemouth by a score of 5-1. to one. There were a lot of questions going into this game on whether or not City could pull out the three points due to the fact that David Silva and Sergio Aguero were both out with injuries, but the team proved that they could do it. Let's get into the highlights. City started off very, very early in the sixth minute with a cross into the box from Fernandinho, which was, headed, which was kept alive by Pablo Zabaleta. And then right there, that last touch from Wilfred Brony allowed Raheem Sterling to tap it into the back of the net for a very early lead. Raheem Sterling star, uh, started the game off early for Manchester City, who has been sluggish in their past two games. But you definitely had a feeling that more goals were here to come in this one, and they were. A cross into the box was misplayed by the keeper, and Wilfred Boney had a tap in to make it 2-0. Wilfred Boney had a really interest interesting season last year. Didn't really turn out the way City thought he would from when he went on loan from Swansea, but he definitely started off early this campaign with this goal, and he showed that he has a purpose. Kevin De Bruyne, the, the last piece here, beautiful ball played into Raheem Sterling again. He jukes out two defenders and puts this ball away into the bottom corner. The crowd really loved it. Uh, Sterling has been criticized for his finishing the past couple weeks, but he had no mistakes with that one. And at that point in time, I think everyone in the stadium knew what time it was and that City was going to run away with the three points, Carly. So, Godfrey, how do you think the team will benefit from this result? This was a big result for City. They really needed this one. It'll definitely set them up next week when they go on to face Manchester United in the 170th Manchester Derby. But it, it really showed the squad and the manager, Manuel Pellegrini, that they can do this without their star players. They have enough talent and enough heart to be able to put the ball in the back of the net and win games. And I feel like that's what this is the type of game they needed to go into this big matchup. From Manchester, England, I'm Godfrey Lucas. Thanks, Godfrey. So coming up, we will be discussing the opening night in the NBA. Stay tuned. Good evening and 
welcome to Sports Watch. I'm Carly Thomas. Tonight's top story will take us to Barclays Premier League where league leaders Manchester City took on Bournemouth. Here with us now from Ithiad Stadium in Manchester, England is Godfrey Lucas. Godfrey, how did Manchester City fare in today's game? Well, Carly, it is all smiles around here on the pit, uh, around the stadium as Manchester City went on to beat Bournemouth by a score of 5-1 to one without their star players, David Silva and Aguero, who many people were concerned about because they felt that City wouldn't be able to get the three points that they that they got today, but they ended up proving them wrong and putting a lot of goals on the board. Let's take let's look at the highlights. Starting off early in the seventh minute, there was a cross put into the box, which was kept alive by Pablo Zabaleta with a header. Then right there, Boney makes a, a last ditch effort to get to the ball, and he gets a piece of it. And Raheem Sterling is on the end of it to put it away and put Manchester City up early, which was a huge bonus for them because in their last two games they had very sluggish starts. More goals were to come as the keeper mishandles the cross here and Wilfred Brony was able to slide it into the empty net to make it 2-0 in favor of Manchester City. This was a great goal for Brony due to the fact that last year he really didn't turn out the way he was supposed to as City got him on transfer from, from Swansea, but maybe this goal will kickstart his campaign this season. And the final dagger here was a beautiful ball played in by Raheem Sterling who was able to fake out right here one, two, fake out two defenders and slot this into the bottom corner. The crowd really got up and roared for that one. That was the second one of the day, and you really had a feeling at that point in time that City was going to move on with Sterling's finishing capabilities at, at that point, Carly. So, Godfrey, how do you think the team will benefit from this result? Uh, this was a great tune-up game, Carly, for them, th and it really showed that they could do it without two of their star players going into next Sunday because they will be facing Manchester United in the 170th edition of the Manchester Derby, a crucial game for both teams that has title implications very er early on the season, and if they play the way they did this Sunday, they will be able to come away with the three points. From Thanks. Manchester, England, I'm Godfrey Lucas. Thanks, Godfrey. Coming up, we will be discussing the opening night in the NBA. Stay tuned.